Eureka! For the first time ever, with this uh, 4mm Skywatch in Myriad, I can see the Hadley reel where the Apollo 15 landed. First, I saw it with this uh, uh, aspheric, SV Boni aspheric. Then, I thought with this, I will have a little. A little bit longer drift time, I used that one, but the view with both of them were similar. Amazing. It's one night past the first quarter. And I'm using the lovely Celestron Omni XLT 127 5 inch Schmidt I'm using this uh, handmade uh, homemade <laughs> dew shield just to stop the blizzard. Correct your plate of this. Uh, hopefully, it has been successful. Amazing, this. This is one of the most easiest telescopes I've ever had. Just pick it, put it on the tripod, something like the sky T. That's it, go ahead and watch, observe. I say SV1 eyepieces, I have the 10mm here also. That's also nice. 10mm SV1 aspheric. But the most amazing is this. <laughs> I have to find my other. Uh, TMB planetary eyepieces. I bought them 18 pound. Now they are a bit more expensive. They are practically equal to, to my eye. They are equal to the Radian. Even they look like the Radian. Teleview Radian. Six millimeter was sharp. Hadley reel or Rima Hadley is a lava tube originates from somewhere in the mountains, in the Apennine Mountains of the Moon and ends up near uh, in the Imbrium Basin. And uh, Apollo 15 landed there. We can see the lunar uh, orbiter as photographed it, actually. I have a video which I'm comparing the image quality of a Maxitov, ETX Maxitov, with this uh, uh, Celestron SE5 and this one also, Omni. And I'm telling that they are not good. It was because I've I've not found it. It needed the secondary mirror be collimated. I've collimated it now. It's perfect, sharp, razor sharp. I'm really happy with this uh, Celestron Schmidt uh, Cassegrains. They are the most portable telescope I've ever had. I never had such a clear, stable sky. The atmospheric condition is so perfect, no bubbling. I have increased the magnification to 4, and I think I can increase it even to 2. If I bring my 2.4 uh, HR uh, Vixen, I can easily push it that far. Um, I have to dig for it, but uh, I'm not going to do it. The stability and the clearness of the sky. I can see the beginning of the Hadley reel. I can see the crater crater in the middle of it, and a little bit of faint uh, traces of the Hadley reel before reaching the Hadley Delta mountain. Yeah, that's amazing. That's the place that the moon landing happened. <laughs> that's so clear. I can push the magnification so high. It's one of those nights. It's one of those nights. It's the clearest night I've ever had observing the moon.